Hello everyone, LZ1ABC here. I want to show you how I'm going to make my uh, cable that will connect uh, uh, the TRX SDR switch with my transceiver TS590S. Uh, this cable is needed so that when the transceiver goes into transmit, it will se send the signal to the TRX SDR switch and consequently the TRX SDR switch will go also in transmit mode. Uh, you will need uh, several things. In my case, I need this uh, 7 DIN connector, um, which the TS590 is using. Uh, also, RCA uh, mail plug, which will go into the SD, uh, into the TRX SDR switch uh, here. And also, I will use uh, audio stereo audio cable. I will use only one uh, one side of this cable. Mm, it has a shielding and also inner conductor. It's a relatively nice cable. So, this is how the connections look like uh, from the TS590 side. Mm, you have to connect the, uh, the shielding to pin number 2, which is a common terminal. And also you have to connect the inner conductor to pin number 4. So when the transceiver goes into transmit mode, uh, those pins they will be short circuited. One important uh, uh, thing is that you have to remember also to connect pin number two. You have to connect to the housing of the connector like this. This is pin number two, the top one, and you have to connect it to the housing of the connector. This is uh, needed because this pin, pin number two, is actually not uh, connected to ground. And uh, the TRX SDR switch requires uh, ground connection to the transceiver. This is uh, one of the protections uh, of this switch. And if there is no ground connection, the TRX SDR switch uh, will uh, think, uh, so to speak, that uh, it's not connected to the transceiver and will uh, remain in uh, transmit mode. Uh, so this is uh, one protection, and in this case, because the, the TS590, doesn't, is, the common terminal is not connected to the ground, we have to make sure that we connect it to the ground. For example, for ICOM, I know that uh, there is no such problem, and uh, in uh, the PTT, the PTT connector, is uh, the common uh, terminal is connected to the ground. And you don't have to make such tricks. So. Uh, I will make the cable, I will solder it and I will demonstrate you when I'm ready how it looks like. Okay, the, the cable is ready. You can see the 17 connector, the RCA email connector. This is the how the RCA email connector looks like. Let me show you. Okay. And this is the 17. Please notice also how the there is a connection from the pin number two, which is the top pin, to the housing of the connector. This white wire. Let me this one here. From here, see it's other two here. Again, this is required because this common connector of the TS590 is not connected to ground and the SDR switch expects to be connected to the ground of the transceiver if it's to operate. And when disconnected, it will actually disable, it will remain in transmit mode, the SDR switch. Okay, so time to put uh, back all the parts, the caps, and I'll show you the final result. So this is the ready cable. It's uh, it's not so complicated. Seven ding connector goes into the S590 Kenwood. This goes into the into the TRX SDR switch. I'll show you how and why was needed to connect the common pin to to the housing that is to the ground of the transceiver because there is a protection. Uh, it's used, the ground is used to recognize uh, if the TRX-SDR switch is connected uh, to the transceiver. 
through the means of this cable. If there is no ground, the TRX-SDR switch assumes that it's not connected and remains in transmit mode, protecting your SDR. Hello, I'm back. Just to show you the cable that was just uh, done and how it works together with the TRX SDR switch and the transceiver, my Kenwood TS590. So, currently the cable is not connected to the transceiver, the switch is inactive, uh, remains in transmit mode, and once I connect the cable, you can see the TRX, TRX SDR switch goes into receive mode. If I press the transmit button on my transceiver, of course, it goes into transmit mode once the transceiver starts transmitting. Okay, and the most important, finally, before using your TRX SDR switch, before connecting your SDR uh, to the same antenna, the most important test that you have to do is to once you have everything connected, is everything, I mean everything, all your setup, before going on transmit, make sure that when you disconnect the cable from the transceiver between the TRX SDR switch and the transceiver, if you disconnect the cable, make sure that the switch goes into transmit mode. This means that your protection is working, you didn't mess up anything. It means that your protection... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm disconnecting the power. It means uh, that the, your protection is working. And in case you forget to plug your cable between the TRX SDR switch and the transceiver, you will be safe. Just make this test. If this is working, you'll be fine. Okay, so thank you and 73 from LZ1ABC.